back. Today we're going to make an awesome project. Do you know what we're making today? Watercolor sea turtles. Yes, this one's going to be super fun. I don't know about you guys, but, but out by us in Wisconsin, it's kind of a dark, dreary day. So this will be a, a tropical, beautiful colored painting that will hopefully help cheer you up. To start our sea turtle project, we went online with the help of a parent to search for a picture of a sea turtle. Now, there are lots of pictures at angles, which are a little bit more challenging, so if you're older, you can print that as a reference picture, but this one is from up above, and it's a little easier. So we're gonna use this as our reference picture and start drawing. Today's supplies that you will need are watercolor paper or cardstock, a paintbrush, a white crayon, and watercolor paint. We have Color Splash Liquid Watercolor, which is a liquid watercolor concentrate. You do have to mix this with some water, or most of you probably have a watercolor tray of paint at home. You need a cup of water and a rag. Now to draw our turtle, we are actually going to take a pencil first we're going to draw as light as possible because over that pencil we want to draw with our white crayon. So we're going to start with the shell first, which is sort of like a circle or an oval with a pointed end, right? So we're going to go round like we're drawing an oval and then a point at the bottom and then do the other side very lightly. Then we're gonna draw the head and neck. The neck is pretty short on turtles, so you're just gonna do a little curve line up on each side. And then the head kinda comes to a point where the snout is, and back around. Nice job. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the fins. Curved lines here, and another curved line going out. And if you're younger, it could be easiest just to do rounded ovals for the arms and legs. And what do we love about pencils? You can erase with them. Yep, if you make a mistake, you can erase, so don't panic. We're going to keep our pencil strokes really nice and light, though. And then we're going to draw the legs. So those are a little more flat. So you can start those with, like, a rectangle, and then they have kind of little, they look like toes at the end. And same with the other side. Now, if you made your pencil strokes a little too dark, I'll show you a trick in just a minute. Now we're going to add a pattern to the turtle. So, turtles have a line that goes around the outer edge that's basically a smaller shape of the outermost shell. So we're gonna draw that outline right there. And then that part has straight lines going down. Remember to keep your pencil strokes light. And then the top of the shell has a pretty cool pattern. And it goes like this. There's a top line and then the side, bottom, side, and then the top line, side, another side line, straight, same for the other side, and keep going down the back of the turtle.
And then on the sides, you're gonna just do a straight line down from those points. And then the rest of the turtle has a lot of those similar shapes, but much smaller. Along the edges of the arms, it's, they almost look like toenails. If you think of like an elephant's foot, it looks like the toad, the toads that they have. And then you fill it in with a bunch of little shapes. So I just kind of make up some rounded shapes and add them in there. We're going to do that for the rest of the arms and legs. Now we're going to quick add some eyes. Now when you're looking at a turtle from above, it's just sort of like a half circle on each side of the head. Okay, now if you found that you made your pencil marks too dark, you can go back and take an eraser and lightly erase over your turtle. But make sure it stays dark enough so that you can see what you did. You're probably thinking, why in the world would I just erase all of that hard work? Well, it's because we are going to go back over it with white crayon. And when we do that, we're going to get to see that awesome pattern. It's going to show up white, though. So now we're going to take our white crayon and we're going to trace all those lines that we already made. Okay, now you're going to take your paintbrush and get it wet and you're going to get your whole sheet of watercolor paper wet. If you have cardstock paper, just be careful not to get it too wet. It doesn't hold water as well as watercolor paper. And now we're going to take our paint and because ours is liquid color concentrate, it does have to be applied with a wet brush and a wet sheet of paper. So we have green there and blue here. We'll take a little bit of yellow. We're going to get our brush wet, get a little excess water off of there, and then you can decide what color you want your turtle. Whoops, I got some paint on my sheet. Um, I'm going to make mine brown, I think, like the picture. So I'm going to take some yellow and purple and mix them together. Using the watercolor concentrates, typically if you'd mix yellow and purple together, you would get brown, but we found it makes sort of an olive green color. And when I put my paint on, I can lighten it up by taking a rag 
and going like this and it makes it look lighter in that area so you can make it look like there is a light shining or sun shining down on the turtle and then a shadow on that side. I'm going to take a smaller brush now and paint the arms and legs. And we happen to have a tray of watercolor paint available, so we're going to use brown from that. Now I'm going to paint my background and I have some blue paint and some green paint I'm going to mix together to make a cool aqua color. We're going to be really careful around the edges. And then a couple of cool things you can do with your background are if you have salt on hand, you can sprinkle it on top of wet watercolor paint and it gives it a really cool effect. Or I'm going to take my rag. Um, you can take saran wrap. You can take plastic bags and make some cool patterns on your painting. Okay, so I'm going to take that rag and just splotch some areas. And if you want more paint to come up, but it dried pretty quickly, you can get your sheet wet again. And I'm going to go back in and give my turtle some eyes again with my pencil. And there you have it. Here's the final product for all three of our paintings. We have my eight-year-olds on the left, mine in the middle, and my five-year-olds on the right. And I think they turned out awesome. I can't wait to see all of your drawings too. Please be sure to have your parents share it on social media. They can also email us or tag us in the hashtag wildfreeandcrafty on Instagram and on Facebook. Thanks for joining us again, guys.